I walked this morning into the park with a new phone to see how it would perform taking pictures. First, I took a landscape to see how the phone focuses near and far. Not bad. Everything near and far in good focus. I expected that. Then I moved much closer to my subject to see how it focused close up. Uh-oh, not too close. Because this pesky plant is spreading like crazy in the park with rising daily temperatures. Poison ivy. It didn't seem like such a good morning for taking pictures, but after a while, I changed my mind about that. There was a bright overcast, and the diffused light was very lovely, even and gentle, casting no shadows. A perfect morning for photographing white flowers, which on a brighter day would be overexposed. And there was little wind to blur my shots. Everything was working together to coddle the structures in the petals of a white rose. It used to be that devices with small sensors like cell phones and point-and-shoot cameras couldn't do this, blur the background while keeping a closer object in very clear focus. But these days, small sensor devices with a portrait mode do it rather well, almost as well as large cameras with expensive interchangeable lenses. I put my new phone in portrait mode and enjoyed experimenting with it, making photos with a small depth of field, that is to say a very small range in which objects are in focus. Near objects are kept in focus while objects further away get blurred, and that makes for a very artistic look. Of course, usually in landscapes, you wouldn't want the faraway objects too blurry. I found that I could vary the depth of field by putting my phone in portrait mode and adjusting my distance from the nearest object in focus. The closer I got to that object, the more blur there would be in the background.